channel look at look back to my life. Okay. Now, I have no basically my discussion of how I have now to enumerate and I have now to list the different identifications, how to say an acid and how to say a base. Okay, like that. Because uh, usually it's not all the time, guess ha. Huh? But you other situations and different examinations will always, will always like this. Which you can follow me is not belong to the guru. No. Then Madibuka because they will give you know an elements that closely related to each other and then you don't know what's the properties to determine them, who among them are the acids, are the base, the salts, oxides, like that. Especially if it will be rumbled also with protein, carbohydrates, with acids, you can not lipids, uh, you know, so nakakaloka. Amino acids, hormones, like that, right? So there's a lot. Okay, so we need to identify, okay, all uh, substances, micro biomolecules or macro biomolecules or biological substances or biochemical substances. <laughs> okay, like that. Sige na, ito na. Okay, properties of acid, mga palangga. Okay, properties of acid and properties of the base. Ganyan. Diba? Charat. Okay, we have 10 and we have 9 only in the base. So, our techniques here is to give acid first and then give also base so that we can easily understand because most of the times the reverse will be the pattern something like that. okay we go first to the arrhenius point of view so acid will produce H ions in solution okay in solution and on so Monisha number one a proper piece of acid number one property is a base it will produce OH negative ion in solution or a chaos. We need a solution a chaos, huh? Okay, like that. And then H also can be a hydronium ion, H3O positive. Okay, like that. That's the point. Uh, number two, in terms of Lewis. Okay, in terms of Lewis, guys, so acceptor. Okay, acid, pair of electron acceptor. So, pair of electron acceptor. Okay, then the base will be the reverse. Pair of electron. Okay, uh, donate. Donator. Donator, right? Donator or someone with name. Or donor to make it safe. Donor. Okay, like that. Okay, and then number three, we have the Bronsted lorry. Bronsted lorry acid, I will denote that as B L A. So, Bronsted lorry acid. We need to say, guys, donate proton. Okay, donate proton. And the reverse for Bronsted lorry base. Okay, well, accept. Okay, proton. You got a point? That. Okay. Accept proton. Proton is positive. It's ideally, ideally, ideally equal to the atomic number. Something like that. Okay? Okay, number four. Nakakaluka. What is the number four? It's based on the litmus paper. Okay, what did, what did I tell you for easy memorization? So that is for the base. So blue, okay, blue will produce. So red litmus paper will change to blue. Okay, that is base. Okay, from R to B. Red litmus paper, I will just put R, L. Okay, to blue. Okay, we need to say this is Red liquid paper turns to blue, okay? And then, blue liquid paper turns to red is the acid. Blue B change to R. And on. What else? Phi pata. Okay, usually guys, when we produce acid, we need to react to the metal and it will produce H2H. Acid react 
to metal to produce H2. Okay, hydrogen gas. Okay, you get the point. That's why in the chemical reactions you will imagine how oh, H2 is coming because it's the it's the principle already in the properties of an acid. You get the point. For example, I know, hello. For example, if we have say metal, oh, example metal zinc, right? And we have also uh, let's say HCl, hydrochloric acid, right? Because metal react with an acid to produce H2, right? Like that. So this will become uh, H2 will produce plus zinc chloride something like that so single pla displacement only in the type of chemical reaction okay like that so to zinc chloride so we don't need to balance for the purpose of discussion only so as you can see the metal will react to acid will produce hydrogen gas okay that's normally holds through in single displacement okay and single replacement, not for the double replacement, of course, it will attach to another partner. Okay, so both compound metal the shock if we do the double displacement. Good than the shock for single replacement. One is element and the other is a compound. And it happens to be the element is a metal and the compound is happening to be an acid. It will produce hydrogen gas, H2, diatomic element, pure element, pure gas. And the lightest element in the planet Earth and in the universe, and discovered by Mr. Henry Cavendish. Okay, hydrogen. Okay. When I was in high school, guys, I was confused. Okay, because I already started memorizing the different scientists and their contribution. Okay, because I love chemistry that much. Okay, something like that. Then I also come to a point that I was confused between Ernest Rutherford, Mr. Ernest Rutherford, and Mr. Henry Cavendish. Oh, what's the difference? See, Henry Cavendish is just discovering the hydro hydrogen element. But Ernest Rutherford is the discovering the positive proton in the hydrogen. So do not interchange that one. Sometimes I will be confused. So if the question in the future examination or any quest bowl or science fair competition or any battle of the brains regarding the science, you will answer, Blanc, who discovered proton? Something like that. Your answer will be Mr. Ernest Rutherford. Who discovered hydrogen? Your answer will be Mr. Henry Cavendish. Something. Your clue is very easy. Henry start with H and hydrogen start with H. So it's very easy to detect and accumulate in our brain cells also. Okay, you get the point. Something like that. You get the point. Now, go back to this. So a metal plus a compound will yield H2. Ganon. Number six. Ang sapadyot siya, mga kalangga. Okay. Ang sapadyot. Oy, gano'n ba yan? Okay. We talk about the acidity. When you mean acid and base, the acidity is very important. The measure. The measure of the strength of a substance is called a pH. Blanc is the measure of the strength of a substance, as simple as that. Your answer will be pH. Or we can revise that the measure of the acidity and basicity of the substances. Your answer also will be pH. You get the point. Okay, aside from this uh, definitions here and concepts that we try to connect, right? Something like that. So the pH is less than. Seven, little point. Less than seven, meaning to say it's gonna be like, um, the moon. Less than seven, the nine. Diba? In math, what do you call this one? The greater than and the less than symbol. Okay, I forgot. Wait. <laughs> less than, okay. Charlotte, wait. Once again. Oh, okay, another lecture. So, pH is less than, meaning to say, the, the, the arrow will eat the seven meaning that the opening of the arrow no, this is not the arrow right the can I bound since the one in your way what's the English for this this one like this like a letter V in a letter V in a column position 
V in a column position. This is a lesser than because the opening is the number seven. Okay? Now, this is less than. If the number is not eaten by the opening, it is greater than. You get the point? Something like that. very basic in math, right? Okay, so this is the pH is less than seven. So that is acid. So this is from six to one. And there's no zero. Okay, there's no acidity. Or else it is another way around. It's, maybe it is in a base, it's an alkaline, something like that, whatever. Okay, that is the pH. Ganon. Okay, what else if you try to determine the acidity? We have also the, uh, this one, very important, guys, strong acids, okay, okay, and weak acids, of course. <laughs> okay, strong acids, of course, this is our already acid, so strong acids and weak acids, let's, okay, pagbigyan natin, let's just put strong acids and weak acids, because this already is self-explanatory. Okay, because this is weak and this is strong, and this acid is not as properties of acids, right? Okay, okay, we have strong electrolytes. Okay, strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. You get the point? Weak electrolytes. You get the point, huh? Weak electrolytes. Okay, ganon. Weak electrolytes and also we can put here as ampotheric you know ampotheric guys another term right ampotheric can also act as an acid can also act as a base like that right so muna siya mga ampotheric nakaloka so ako i-count na ang mga properties niya so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 na siya Okay, and then some base. Ni huno mo sa base. Okay, number five. Oh, weak electrolytes. Ganda naman. Okay, weak electrolytes. Okay. Okay, then weak bases. Okay. Uh, strong bases. Ganon. Like that. Weak bases. With electrolyte, strong bases, like that. So these are properties of base. Okay? You get the point? Okay. Now, for the measure of the equilibrium constant, it's more difficult. How can we do that? Okay? Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> we will not create our own relationship or properties. Okay? By just connecting the dots. Okay? Like that. So, what are the sample properties of acids and bases? Get the point? Later on, I will be showing to you some uh, reactions or chemical bonding or equations that will try to predict what's going to be the process. If it is a Lewis base, then on. Uh, Arrhenius, then it's a lorry, then on. Okay, so that we can easily understand what's the products, blah, 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 so and so. And then we need also to, to find the, the conjugate base, the conjugate acid, like that, blah, 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 so and so. Okay? You get the point. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How many vlogs are this? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You can share, like, comment, and then you can subscribe to my channel if you want. Also, bye-bye, good everybody. See you later. Ganan. Okay. Nakakaloka. <laughs>